So I'll start by asking you both about working with James, because you both did uh, The Harder They Fall. So you know how talented he is, but is there anything you saw him do in the Book of Clarence set that made you go like, damn, I knew you were good, but not that good? Uh, I, I feel like I've already, I've known he's that good. Like James, when it comes to how great he is, right, it doesn't surprise me, you feel me? It would surprise me if James slipped. That, that would surprise me. Yeah, if James actually took a rest day, that would be the only surprising thing. But I think what would be surprising, I, most surprising thing was what? Um, yeah, I think uh, for, for me, I think, uh, you know, there were a lot of heavy moments that I had where, you know, I can be pretty serious about my approach to work. So I kind of find myself in just this like really focused mist. Um, and he would break me out of it in certain moments with levity and comedy in ways that made me just feel like, remember, it's fun, you know, remember to have fun. And uh, that was something that was really quite special. Uh, one time he one time he came up to me and just randomly, you know, I was just like in this mode. And he was like, I cost the wrong Jesus. <laughs> But it is like pointed at me, like, you know, so it's quite funny. <laughs> I always appreciate a little levity on a set because these productions are not easy to pull off. So you kind of yeah. need that. Does he have a monitor dance? Is there something you can catch him doing behind the monitor that signals to you he is like really digging a take? <laughs> Um, I think it's not even like a move, it's a facial expression. Because James already has like a very sure expression. Yeah. So it's like, yeah, you can do it. This is it. But when he's watching and he's enamored, right, he turns into a kid. Mm -hmm. And then he's watching film that makes him happy on the inside. Once he sees, then he's like, hard, <laughs> hard. He doesn't even say cut, because James doesn't believe right. in cutting the creativity, right? He'll just let the scene go and then let us end it as is, right? Mm -hmm. But once his, you can hear, you. Sometimes even when he goes too fast, like, hard, oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, Good we're team. in the middle of the scene. Yeah. Hard, hard. It's like, yeah. wait, wait, we're still filming. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. It's, I'm crying. Hard. No, James. <laughs> no. Is that always how he's worked without saying cut at the end? And, and yeah. if so, what do you two appreciate about that? And maybe do you wish more directors didn't say cut? Yes. Yeah, I like a little extra room. Uh, that's where happy accidents can happen. Um, and I just like, you know, to have a little bit of extra space because you just never know it's going to come up and so it's a beautiful thing I really like it and he has his own style mm -hmm. it's very much like my approach to acting it's like your own style that you sort of built uh, over time throughout experiences in your life you know you just bring it to the work so it's yeah. great but I also feel like all directors might not be able to handle that freedom of directing. You feel me? Because James, when it comes to the full picture of the film, he already has it. So he can allow for us to be in that space. He knows what to do with every single piece of film that he takes. Even the outtakes, he can make a movie out of. I believe that. And it takes, it takes a dangerous person to be able to do that. And James is that person. So, like, it is, it's going to be hard. But there's... There's, I don't think there's nobody that can do it like that. Mm -hmm. Like, that's the first time I've dealt with a director that didn't use cut, mm -hmm. you know, that just allows for it to be. I like that. You idea. cut the scene because you might give me something that I didn't see before. <laughs> that takes a different type of director. Yeah. To each yeah. their own. Every process is different. Yeah, that, yeah. that really intrigues and excites me. I feel like the creative possibilities of someone operating that way makes it just absolutely endless. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So now I have to ask you two about working with each other. I love asking about the value of a good scene partner, especially when your relationship is a big part of the beating heart of this film. So can you each tell me something about the other you appreciated as a scene partner, maybe something that even helped you access something in your own character that you wouldn't have been able to without him. I really love how fearless RJ is as a performer. I think it's really important to push the boundaries, but that can be a very scary thing. And uh, you don't want to make mistakes, um, but there are these performers who decide, even in the face of that, I'm going to go for it. And uh, it makes it very, very fun, keeps it very interesting. And he's so naturally funny. And he's naturally funny because he's smart. Because you're you don't you don't become that funny, you know, <laughs> not being able to pick up on things and not being able to put things and misplace things on purpose because that's what makes it funny. Um, and he's uh, very good at that. So it was really just a joy. And I was just talking about how his 
countenance on set was always just so placid, so cool, so never a problem. It was, he never had a problem with anything. It could be the most intense scene, and he was just like, yeah, all right. <laughs> hey, we, we cool. How you doing, brother? How you doing, man? Love you, man. So it was a real dope camaraderie. Yeah. It was dope. Cool quality to have. Yeah. yeah. I think something that I've noticed, noticed excuse me, about Lakeith throughout multiple times that we've worked together, um, I've always been like, a fan of his work, right? And I've always wanted to kind of be able to bounce back and work that way, right? And so we met what? It was a bit ago on the first film. And then The Heart of They Fall, I was able to, you know, actually link and make that scene connection, right? So as a scene partner, Lakeith kind of opened my eyes to what it was to fully sink into my characters, right? So there's a certain person that Lakeith doesn't allow on set. He lets the character live there. You feel me? Like, literally lets the character live. So when you're in the scene, right, all of your mistakes aren't mistakes. Mm -hmm. They're just another spark of your mind that, you you know, you didn't have before. And he'll lean into it. You feel me? Most actors, you know, they can't play. They can't bounce, you know, unless they have a structure to it, which is okay. But Lakeith kind of strengthens that to where you can now come off so authentic, you feel me? Because I be overthinking sometimes, I ain't gonna lie, I do. But then when I watch how he approaches in freedom, and that's in every one of his roles, you know, as you know, his resume, all of them are heavy hitters, you know, he's like a Mike Tyson in this acting thing, you know, he always swings hard. So to be in a scene with a partner that supports your hard swings, or will tell you, hey, you're not swinging hard enough, swing harder, you feel me? Like, he gives me the praises for my, you know, relentlessness and my, my risk taking, right? But he, as that person, will bring that out of you because he doesn't make it, you know, it's like, okay, you messed up on that line. Say it the same way, don't, you know, please give me that because now I have another idea that I can use. Mm -hmm. So if you don't give me that, we ain't gonna be able to see what the idea is, you know, like you need that in the scene partner. One that doesn't kind of get mad when you go off or whatever, they just know how to do that shit, you know? He's yeah. that sharp. So I can say llama at a time where he's emotional. Llama, and it was a llama for me. It was like those llama. llamas either. Like, hey, llamas. You know, that that's fun. That's play. Yeah. You know, that's mastery of your craft. Such beautiful answers to that yeah. question. I love. I love the idea of mistakes not being mistakes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Your team is as strong as the players, and exactly. really, we're a team, and we're trying to achieve the same thing. So it's like, how do we play off of each other? How do we make it work? There are no mistakes. Just like in real life, if you do something, you accidentally. Drop something, it's just, it's just drop it's it. And you just gotta pick it up, you know what I mean? So, so yeah, it's fun. A movie yeah. like this doesn't come to screen as successfully unless you have that team mentality and <laughs> exactly. everybody getting behind the vision together Absolutely. and not holding back in the least. And you guys pull it off brilliantly. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you.